So it was Brian Callan's flipping wedding recently, right? And I guess he's talking about what happened and what went down. And I guess no one went. <laughs> None of his friends in comedy went, which is flipping tragic and sad in all the ways it is tragic and sad. Maybe it's not as tragic and sad as him getting remarried after everything that happened so quickly. That's a bit weird. But maybe it shows that he was maybe in a relationship prior to him breaking up with his ex. Who knows? Maybe this was the one for him. But the fact that he's posting on social media, maybe it's proof that they'll maybe, you know, maybe a lot more serious than the other one. I'm not too sure. Not my business. Don't care. You just wouldn't, you wouldn't assume somebody his age, 60 years old, whatever he is, with already two kids would be running headlong into another marriage. But this is LA. This is Hollywood. This is not real life. Nothing makes sense. So maybe... You know, he finds comfort in the bosom of a wife and another kid. Who knows? And he had a wedding and no one went. And <laughs> even though he's been accused of raping and stuff, I still think it's absolutely brutal. I think it's absolutely brutal that he was... Uh, <laughs> he could have convinced any of his friends to go at his wedding. And this is Brendan and Brian awkwardly trying to recap the wedding. And it feels like they're doing it for the first time. And I think this lends credence to my assertion or to my impression or to my theory or to my guess that these guys aren't friends the way they used to be i think they actually only talk to each other when they see each other on the podcast legitimately i don't think they speak to each other anymore outside of this this is the genuine catch-up they're having post-wedding but i was like sources because the restaurant business the alcohol business yes all that stuff for me i'm like hey do we want to Drink this or do we want to so sell it? You know, yeah. but, but we put a fucking dent in it. You better of that, Pat. Did you try Pappy's on your uh, wedding celebration? Yes, I did, sir. And you know what? Now, just so people get it clear, this wasn't Brian's wedding. Brian got eloped. I didn't miss Brian's wedding. Yeah. This was a party for just Brian. Just a party. Just and he also decided to throw it on a Saturday. Yeah, my bad. Which I, when he told me. Oh, I love, the, I love the distinction. He said it's not the wedding. It was a party. But did he go to the wedding? Eh, no. <laughs> so what's the point of making this distinction? He did that. I went, dude. Your closest friends are all comics. I got a little sad, and we're it wasn't all, your We're all fault. comics, and we're all yeah. we're all everyone's working Saturday. So your closest ones aren't going to be there. I got a little sad because at the end of the night, it was a beautiful night. I saw all so many of the people I love. I put, brought the families together, but I didn't have my boy there. Mm -hmm. and then you know what's funny about this? I have his boy. Look at his face. He knows he feels bad as well because he should have gone. Like you, could, I'm sorry, but again, I'm. <sighs> Me speaking on this is bad because I don't have many friends, so I can't necessarily offer a good, you know, impression of this because I don't get invited to things and I don't really have friends to go to things for. So boo hoo woo. But I know more than anyone who doesn't have any friends. If you do have friends, you're meant to look after the ones you do have. And if there's something special happening in their lives, like a wedding, like a funeral, you should be there for your friends. You know, you should definitely be there, especially if you're somebody like Brendan, who, if I'm not mistaken, he invited himself to Andrew Schultz's wedding. Now, I don't know if that's true, but that is, remember, a rumor that people people were kind of running with for a while and i think maybe andrew schultz maybe kind of alluded to that being the truth as well when andrew schultz got married he didn't invite brendan show up to the wedding maybe he forgot or whatever it may be but brendan basically took himself there without an invitation which is crazy because there's one thing going to somebody's birthday party and you're not invited and they're just going and say oh because maybe they forgot to invite you because they're so wrapped up in their birth celebration which i guess i still wouldn't go because in my opinion unless somebody invites me somewhere i'm not gonna just i'm not gonna just go because i think you would have invited me no i'm gonna sit my ass at home i'm not gonna mention it i'm gonna keep myself to keep it to myself because my pride is too high uh, i've got too much pride sorry but brendan did he went there anyway invited himself and some people theorize that he went there with the sole desire to basically ambush Rogan so he could get back on the show because Rogan was answering his text or something which I don't think is true I just generally think he wanted to be seen at the fucking shots wedding because that was a fucking you know that was like Meghan Markle getting married or some shit everyone was fucking there so clearly he wanted to be seen there but he made the effort to go to Schultz's wedding which he wasn't invited to he could have cancelled the show and went to flip in to Brian Callan's wedding it's just another show he was doing in the week another flipping tour where you go and perform in one city a couple of days you could have cancelled that and said you're Get your boys getting married and drop the show like it's not hard everyone would have understood it these guys are either incredibly addicted to money where they can't turn down shows even for their family when they're getting married or they have a family emergency which makes sense because Ben is also the same guy that didn't cancel a show when his wife allegedly had a miscarriage so maybe there's something in that these comedians just don't turn down money if somebody books them for a show unless their kid dies and even then they, they're not gonna cancel a show but there is no excuse really you have to go and the fact that he didn't go is absolutely brutal Especially off the back of the shorts thing, because he invited himself to show a show. But hey, who am I to speak again? Because I don't have any friends. And then you sent me that picture from us from 2015. 2015, New York. Oh, it was great. Tally, I think, what was that? Uh, Gramercy Theater. Yeah, man. Oh. <laughs> 
imagine not going to your friend's wedding them being sad and in their fields because all their friends are not there on this special day of them getting married at the age of 60 uh, you know maybe you should you know not be so emotional about your fucking wedding if you're fucking 60 years old and it's your second wedding it's not that big of a deal you've been you've done it already before you've got two teenage kids like relax maybe but imagine you're already cut up about your friends not coming and then they start texting you tbt pictures throwback thursday pictures of you together back in the day when you were closer <laughs> <laughs> these guys are so weird old school oh, dude. how about that and then i didn't even send you the rest of the pictures i don't want you to make cry on your wedding celebration and then there's pictures in the green room of you and me uh, justin uh jimmy burke back there wow yeah jimmy couldn't make it because his niece was getting married oh yeah you couldn't make it dove <laughs> couldn't make Dalia it Dalia couldn't make it Throughout, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at his face that's so horrible man Think about it, right? Dalia allegedly, allegedly, right, diddled kids. But even though Brian threw Chris Lee under the bus, as a group of people under the Thick Boy Fire and the Kid Network, whatever it's called, right? They gave those guys, or they gave Chris Lee especially, safe refuge. He got cancer for everything. When no one would have him on his show, when he became a social pariah in the podcasting community, these two guys were here for him. So you'd think he'd be indebted to them in the regard of like, hey, you helped me get back on my feet. Don't get me wrong he's all right on his own his podcast is still doing numbers he's got a show with his brother that still does numbers he's clearly okay but the fact that those guys welcomed those you know him into his on their show put their reputations on the line for for flipping chris and he couldn't make the effort to go to their wedding and drop some things i don't know man i'd, I'd feel away this is coming from somebody who doesn't have friends i would feel a little bit away i would feel a little bit pissed off about it i'm not going to lie it would really hurt my feelings like you should drop everything i know it's on the saturday i know it's just a party whatever 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 but if this was joe rogan doing a uh, flipping renewing his vows right with his wife he's been with flipping donkey years do you think these guys would have not dropped everything and gone let's be real i think they would have done their show in uh, in ohio wherever they were at as again no offense to ohio but wherever they were at right do you think they wouldn't have flipping canceled their shows to go to flipping joe rogan's wedding vow flipping renewal session whatever it's fucking called don't you think they would have done that brutal man absolutely brutal so it goes to show again these guys are only your friends when it's beneficial they're only your friends when it's maybe circumstantial and you know if you've got some smut on your name they're gonna do everything in their power to avoid you because some of these names they're mentioning you've never seen them on camera with these guys they might speak in private but especially someone like a will sasso when's the last time will sasso has been on the show post flipping brian kind of allegations so they might be friends but i'm not friends enough to sit on your podcast because i don't want to put my your smut next to my name no way sasso forgot about it it wasn't his okay, fault well, i know he forgot well that geez. hurt my feelings but it was he yeah was i wish like, oh, i was fuck. there goes, and, I, and i love the the boy from uh magic mind you did as hold on, hold on. Listen, to, listen to that excuse sasso then, forgot about it <laughs> when you're when you're in hollywood because everyone's so like clouty and so like because everyone's so fake and shallow you probably have to condition yourself to accept this isn't it you kind of have to accept those lies when someone says i forgot your wedding i forgot about your wedding party you kind of have to just believe them because if you don't believe them it's going to really hurt your feelings that all your friends don't come to your thing because you're not famous or because you're not in a good place in your career or because you have some allegations next to your name right the truth of the matter is you don't want to accept what the actual truth is so you need to actually believe the lies it's not the right time yet let me ask my agent let's circle back let's touch bases you have to buy all these bluffs all these lies because if you don't it's going to really hurt your feelings that these people that you think are your friends these ones that you're okay to they're okay to have a drink with you they're okay to exchange memes and to run jokes by you but when it comes to supporting your show retweeting something coming on your podcast attending your wedding party they're nowhere to be found so are they your friends or they're your colleagues that's the question you have to ask yourself and most likely they're your colleagues but you want to pretend that you're a friend because you don't really have it but maybe these guys are as lowly as i am <laughs> maybe they are but they pretend they're not because they have all this circle of friends